Hey guys, I'm going to do a video on how to fix a broken handle. Um, these are kind of made out of a pot metal and fairly easy to break. The problem is, is that we can't really find a replacement that's just like this to match. And so um, this one down here, one of the little tabs broke off. So I have a I think it's an 832 uh, screw that we're going to use in place uh, to try and get this repair. And hopefully whenever I'm done, you won't be able to tell the difference. So, All right, hang on a second. I'll, let's go out to the garage. Okay, so here's the piece that broke. And you see here's the tab. Broke off of this side. I wasn't going to record this, and then, I, then again I was like, well, this is a pretty simple, easy fix. And you get to keep the original handle so you don't have to worry about mismatching or having to replace all the handles to match. So what I started off doing was I just put this here and I just filed this flat. So now I have a flat surface so whenever I drill through this you'll be able to see. Um, I did already put a center punch. It's not necessary to have this, but it it helps. That's all you'll do with that. And so with this, I'm actually going to drill all the way through to the back side. Because um, I don't think it's going to matter too much. And I want as much holding power as I can. So let's do this here. Tap. So, all right, going, going all the way through. I'll just back the tap back out. Make sure that screws in. Some of my M4s got mixed in with some of my number 8 32s. So, alright. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out about how long that is, and I'm going to measure out about how long that is, and then cut that off there. So, give me just a second, I'll do that. So, I pretty much just need to cut the head off. So, you can cut that with a hacksaw. Um, if you got a grinding disc, you can do it that way. I think one of the fastest ways is just going to be a good pair of dikes. And just get off. And then all I'll do is just uh, just file that down so it's not sharp or anything like that. And I think I might want to get rid of these threads anyways, just so it it shouldn't matter. You won't be able to see it, but we'll see what happens. We'll just use the grinder on those. I'll draw it in. So that should be good enough. Just kind of get rid of those sharp edges. Now, so we can do this one of two ways. We can either use some red Loctite. If you don't have that, I'm sure just putting super glue on the threads will be fine. Just uh, thread that in. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm starting to do a few more videos now because I finally got some editing software. That seems pretty decent. Alright, so there we go. That should be good enough. Again, that's that should be all hidden. Um, 
I am going to, and then I think what I'll do is I'll wrap this and I'll do it with bronze. Uh, if I don't have bronze, then I'll just do it black and it should blend in. It won't stick out like this big old shiny, shiny piece. <laughs> All right, hang on. I did find some of this, uh, this kind of bronze colored. It's closer than black, so we'll, we'll use that. And uh, see what we come up with. Yeah, I think instead of a instead of taping it off, I just did a little bit of a mess to help kind of blend it in. But that should be fixed. So let's finish waiting for this to dry, and we'll go install it. Okay. So the way this comes off back this up is there's just two two little screws in the back so we're just come back one of those screws out and we'll just put that in there that through there and voila A pretty close to perfect fit that should last um, it should last for quite a while, so. Alright, I hope y'all enjoy this. Uh, y'all comment, right? We'll talk to you later. See ya.